Right, just before I start, can you just let me know in the comments if the microphone sounds any better? Because I know a lot of people have been telling me about that. So I hope it sounds better now. I've adjusted a few things around. But this video is an important one. I don't see people talking about it on YouTube a lot. Um, mainly because YouTube is just the same things on Forex over and over again because people just search like the basic, you know, the strategy stuff, uh, just the basic stuff. So they don't have the key details. Um, so I'm trying to bring a bit more of these key details onto YouTube. Um, obviously, if you take people's courses and stuff, you'll find these key details. But the problem is on YouTube, you won't because they, they don't kind of, they don't get good views, which means they, they don't come up high when you search in like Forex. The only things that come up are kind of like flipping account videos and this amazing scalping strategy. Wow. Uh, they're the only kind of things that come up. You don't get the real good content because it's just not what people are searching up, even though you need this kind of thing, the kind of thing I'm about to tell you now. Um, so I'm just going to get straight into it. So basically, there is one time during the day, which is universally the best time you need to be analyzing your charts. So this doesn't matter if you're an Asian session trader, a London session trader, or a New York session trader. Um, there is one single time that is best to be on your charts and analyze. So the most important time of the day for a Forex trader to analyze his charts is 10 p.m. British summer time. So just translate that to whatever time zone you're in. It is 10 p.m. BST. Now, this is because this is when the daily candle closes. And if we break that down further, the daily time frame is the best time frame for analyzing your charts and predicting where the next candle will go. So that's tomorrow's candle which means you could go on to an intraday level, so in the 30 minute, the 15 minute, and then trade off that using your knowledge of yesterday's daily closure. So I'm just gonna show you right now how I would do that with current GJ, so what it's doing. Um, this video will be uploaded before this daily candle does close on GJ, so you'll be able to see um, and listen to what I say. Uh, and if you want to use this information, you can. So this is the daily GBP, JPY, as I said, there is five and a half hours until the daily closes. As I said, the video will be up before that. But this is so important. The daily closure is so important because, as I said, it tells you what's going to happen in the next day. So on GJ, this is a key zone here at 149.620. Um, the whole of last week, pretty much. We rejected this zone, even on the lower time frames, we perfectly rejected this zone. And if you look to the left, it also was a break and retest zone um, in February, like end, end of February, start of March. Uh, and then obviously last week we rejected it a lot, we were trapped there. So if today's daily candle closes down here, it's a Thursday today, it's the 22nd, if it closes, below this zone, so around around here somewhere, that's perfect. That is what I am looking for. Because if it did, I would go onto the lower time frame, say it's the 30 minute, and I would be looking for, so say it closed around here, I would be looking for London session, because that is when I trade, a bounce off this zone, the confirmation candle that I need, that we have rejected this zone, for a sell into our next zone at 148.750. Now, what gave me this confirmation was the fact that the daily closed below there, which means we've broken this zone, which means we should push further down. There is over 80% chance the next candle is going to push down. Also, this daily candle, if it did close down there, will be a strong bearish candle, very strong bearish candle, which means there is a lot of sellers momentum, which means there's a very high chance we will tap into this zone if this one is broken. But on the flip side, if we don't break it and we close above this zone around here, then it's a much, what's the word here? Touchy, it's a much more touchy situation because we can't fully predict what is going to happen next because it will still be a strong bearish candle but we have respected the zone. 
which means I would then be looking at the next candle's daily closure to see if we have rejected this zone or not. So in the next candle, I'd be looking for it to wick down a bit and then close back up bullish, which means the day after that, I'd be looking for buys. Um, so this is further on my point to enforce the point that you need to be on your daily time frame. It's the most important time frame for analyzing and you need to check it at 10 p.m. every day. Well, whatever time frame, time zone you're in, um, you need to check it at that time so you can prepare for the next day your session. So what I do is at 10 p.m., I draw my zones. I see where the candles are closing. I see how the daily candle is closed. I then prepare for the London session the next day, the next morning, which is about 10 hours after the uh, the daily candle closes. So what I'd do is I'd go to the lower time frames and I'd just write a little note on my chart saying, wait for a bounce off this zone for a sell down at London session. And this has a paramount success. Um, so I'm sure you've gained you know, a lot of information from that video. Um, as I said, no one really talks about this, uh, but it's, it is key, it's very important. This is one of the major times you universally for all kind of traders um, that you need to be checking because the daily is such an important time frame. Yes, our entries don't come off the daily and my stop losses I don't use the daily for, but they do for targets. And the overall direction of where we're trading, where we're thinking is going to happen the next day, we use for the daily. And then we go to the lower time frames. So remember this, implement it into your trading. The daily closure, whatever time zone you're in, if you're in England, it's 10 p.m. Um, it's the most important time of day for a trader to analyze and predict what is going to happen next. So thank you very much for watching. If you did, please leave a like. That's all I'm, all I'm asking for from you. It's not much. So thank you very much for watching.